hello everyone welcome back into the shop in this video we will work uh, on some of the points of this uh, function I mean the products we are showing over here and you will also get hold the source code with this project so you can then practice yourself but for now we just need to go to the functions page again function.php and here we have given two links one is the details.php if someone clicks this link the links we have added already are here with, with each product you can see all of the links so if someone clicks any of the details link with that product so the person should be redirected to another page which will be details.php but we need to pass a value uh, to that page so we can display the appropriate product with details so for that purpose we will create a URL variable which is always created with uh, the question mark you know you need to insert the question mark and after that whatever you write that is called either URL variable or get variable so we will create here something like uh, uh, pro uh, underscore ID that will be equal to that will be equal to basically pro ID variable which we have already got from the table here you can see in the local variable this ID is directly coming from the table using the uh, MySQL IFH array so and actually we are running a while loop over here so whatever ID will be clicked that specific ID will be taken to another page I mean details.php so we have created this pro underscore ID var local va uh, I mean uh, URL variable and when in another page we'll get <coughs> the details for this specific product and the same thing we will do with the add to cart pro ID and that will be equal to question mark pro underscore id that would be equal to pro underscore id so with this i mean the button add to cart button so if someone clicks add to cart so we will uh, add or insert that product into cart that's so simple now <coughs> i have saved it by using control s will replace the page now you can observe if i mouse over this product you can see <coughs> here in this area in the, at the corner you can see this is saying details.php question mark pro underscore id is equal to one that means this is the first product that we inserted so it has an id one and this one is having id number six this is id number five sorry this is id number two this is id number five and this is id number six ID number four you can observe over here so <coughs> it uh, all the products have uh, ha all the products have their own specific IDs which are coming from this table and you can see these are the product IDs so we can take the IDs as a reference to get the specific product details from the table and can show the another page which is basically details.php so that's so simple uh, and same we can do for this you can click or mouse over here add to cart there will be the same IDs product ID 1 product ID 2 and uh, product pro ID is equal to 5 because we have used the same syntax so <coughs> now we can create inside the index.php page we can create something like uh, you know inside the box no sorry outside the box the products box because the products box is a specific area inside this content area we can create one more uh, div take and div division take close and inside this we can use something for example um, I was saying uh, in, in previous video that we, we can insert uh, something here I mean uh, shopping 
cart bar to see the shopping data from the user if they have added something so very simply uh, we will go to this styles.css style .css file and we will create uh, another ID called shopping underscore cart and we will say uh, width should be 800 pixel and height should be something like uh, 50 pixel and background will be absolutely black and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, that's it control s to save go back to index.php and add this inside the div we take shopping underscore cart control s to save refresh the page and you can see this is the shopping bar or here we can add some more styles for example font sorry color will be white and float will be no no there is no need to float for this roll is to save now we can simply add a span take over here span close and inside the span take we'll write something like uh, welcome guest and uh, this whole span take will be will have a style float right and uh, we can after okay we can add some more things I mean welcome guest we have written welcome guest so you can check out this is welcome guest the text welcome guest but if we want uh, this to be displayed in the center or here or something like that we can also do so very simply by adding some styles for example font size 18 pixel padding 5 pixel and line height line height uh, will be 40 pixel control s to save now come over here press the page and you will see this is here so welcome guest is a text and uh, we can write something more like uh, shopping cart for this shopping cart we can use another style for example style b is equal to color yellow and will b will be closed inside the b tag we have given some other style press it you can see shopping cart and uh, we can also add a link over here uh, rub cart.php we'll say go to cart Control has to save, refresh the page, and you see here as a link go to cart. But uh, before the go to cart link, we can add something over here as well. After this shopping cart B tag, we can say total items 
uh, and we can also say total price control is to save and uh, refresh so this is welcome guest shopping cart total items how much how many are, are total items and we have a link as well here go to cart and for everybody every guest there will be written welcome guest and we can change this to any time to the person email who has logged in into our website in the go go cart go to cart link you can see over here we can change that color very simply just by adding a style to the link simply make the color as yellow Control is to save and refresh it so you can see this is now like this also here we uh, can add some padding or margin so we can make it uh, you know absolutely accurate from this side and this side to these all products for that we will simply go to style CSS <coughs> and uh, we'll say okay <coughs> 30 pixel as the margin left you can see now this is accurate <coughs> so we have added this welcome guest in some text like shopping cart total items total items will be here which is now uh, not necessary but we will add it here so if someone clicks add to cart so there will be the item in the price as well and they can go to go, go to cart as well also and we will add uh, one more link uh, login in a later chapter of this whole project so stay tuned till next tutorials to work uh, on the cart no sorry first we have to create the details page and after that we will work on the cart so people can uh, add products to cart and can see the items and price etc stay tuned <coughs>